Ever since its 1968 release, Planet of the Apes has maintained a certain relevance. It is a stark cautionary tale that continues to be as imminent, depicting a future in which human beings' tendency to be the arbiters of their own demise is not only explored, but eerily realized. Hey everyone, this is Jan Man, and this is a look back at Planet of the Apes, directed by Franklin J. Schaffner. The mark and impact Planet of the Apes has made on culture has reverberated since its release. There have been numerous sequels, remakes, spoofs, and references within pop culture. While on one hand it does seem pretty silly, or more than far-fetched, that apes would become talking, rationalizing creatures that enslave humans, forbid free thought, and bury history, on another, this depiction, alongside the allegory of humans' own evolution and history of doing such things themselves, doesn't seem all that far-fetched. It's made all the more eerie that such behavior could likely result in the world's demise, hence the movie continuing to strike a nerve with audiences. The movie does a fantastic job, too, of taking its time to set up this bleak future. It keeps the audience in the dark and allows them to travel with Taylor and his astronaut crew to discover this land of another time, which at first seems desolate without life forms of any kind until discovering humans, who are unexpectedly quite primitive. The movie then continues to wisely take its time, building the mystery of the situation and the land. In fact, it's nearly 30 minutes into the movie before it's revealed that these primitive humans are the ones being hunted and enslaved by the walking, talking, intelligent apes. Therefore, that first camera shot of an ape on horseback turning to reveal his face to the camera is crucial. If it were to look awkward, goofy, or unrealistic, especially to a more modern audience, it would take one out of the deliberate, effective setup of the movie. Fortunately, the makeup looks and largely holds up really well, particularly in and around the eyes, making the apes and the actors underneath look real, giving them the ability to convey various emotions. Though there is certainly some noticeable limitability in the mouth area, as one can tell that the actors are really having to accentuate their lips and jaw to get the mouth portion to move in a way that matches the words being spoken. Today, the right makeup and special effects artist could do this more effectively and without the need of CGI, but this lack of detail isn't distracting enough to where it takes away from the overall effectiveness of the plot. Moreover, the performances of Kim Hunter as the empathetic scientist Zira, Roddy McDowell, who likewise plays a more open-minded Cornelius, and Maurice Evans' more closed-minded Dr. Zaius, are dynamic and come through the layers of makeup. Though all the actors, both in and out of makeup, suit the film, further in effectively helping to capture the movie's overall foreboding tone and message. Charlton Heston slides right into the role of a man who has become cynical towards humans, but upon discovering the quote madhouse that he finds himself in, he becomes woeful of the grave mistakes humans have made that led to this situation and consequently and ironically, desires affection, comfort, and companionship from another human, in this case, the primitive Nova. Played by Linda Harrison, Nova acts on basic instincts, her emotions relying on facial and eye expression, never uttering a word, all while being naturally, radiantly beautiful. Planet of the Apes is based on a 1963 novel and was rewritten numerous times by Rod Serling and Michael Wilson before settling on the final theatrical version. The result is a movie that is a well-produced, artistically shot, and edited adventure. But it's the alarming parable of a world turned upside down at the hands of warring, prideful, destructive humans with the apes, their counsel, and behavior and beliefs reflecting people's own history of slavery and silencing and condoning wrongs that gives Planet of the Apes its enduring, thought-provoking timelessness. <laughs> 